The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cindra Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Jan Farrell, and Jan is the president of the board for the Courthouse Legacy Foundation. Welcome, Jan. Hi, thank you. Thanks so much for being with us. Well, it's my pleasure. I'm really happy to be here. Thank you for hosting. Yes, so Tell me how you got involved with the Courthouse Legacy. Well, um, back in 2013, I was invited to help out with the events committee. And from there, it just blossomed, and I became a board member, moved up to be the secretary of the board, and now the president. Now you're the president. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that sounds so. exciting. So um, tell us about the Courthouse Legacy Foundation. You know, what kinds of things do you do? Tell us what goes on there at the foundation. So basically, the Courthouse Legacy Foundation was established um, as a way to raise money for preservation and conservation for our beautiful courthouse here in Santa Barbara. Yeah, it is so beautiful. It, it is an incredible building. So back in 2004, a group of concerned citizens got together and noticed that even though the county owned this building, they only paid for the general maintenance okay. of it. And there were a lot of issues. I mean, it was built in 1929. Gosh. And so there were a lot of things that were deteriorating on this gorgeous building. And it's used every day not only for as a courthouse, but for wedding ceremonies and yes. parties, and it's utilized as a community hub. And so this group of people really thought that we needed to do something to preserve this magnificent building here in Santa Barbara. So they got together and they established the Courthouse Legacy Foundation. In 2004. Right. Gosh, and how many, so how many people are involved in this effort? Well, we have 11 members on our board okay. currently. It, we, it's fluctuated. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. But, but I bet you've got other volunteers and well, people who do Well, we things? do at, at different times for uh -huh. various events. For instance, every year we put on this magnificent fiesta party yes. that happens upstairs on the loggia and the mural room yes. while the Noche de la Ronda is happening in the sunken garden. Mm -hmm. And so we do get volunteers that help us with that. But uh -huh. primarily it's our board members okay. all volunteer. So it's what you call a working board. <laughs> we work hard. <laughs> it we sounds like it. Do. Yeah. Gosh. And so um, you're a 501c3 nonprofit. Correct. And you mm -hmm. have a, a website. We do. SBCLF.org. Okay. And uh, so people can go on the website, find out more about you know how they can help in all of your events and. Right. And, and all that, right. um, and I'll bet you have a donate now button, and of they course, can donate of financially. Right, because we're always looking for donations. Because what we do is basically our foundation, we raise money for specific restoration conservation projects, and because so back in 2005, let me skip back a minute. Mm -hmm. We were designated a national historic landmark. So not a national historic. Right. So we're a city landmark, we're a state landmark, and a national historic landmark. Wow. So everything that is done on this building, all the restoration work that is done, has to be done to very specific restoration standards. So we have to use conservators and it's very pricey. I was just going to say, do you have to pay for these folks, I would exactly, imagine. Exactly, exactly. So that's our job, is raising the money 
to do these projects on the courthouse. So it's not just the materials or the people to do the project, but it's paying for people like conservators. Exactly. So um, back in 2015, we had to have a complete historic structures report done. And then recently, we also had a, um, a, a study done by Evergreen Conservators that found specific things that needed definite, quick attention on the courthouse. So this, a lot of this regulation really came as a result of being designated a national historic site. I think that's a possibility, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. so I wonder if folks knew what they were getting into. <laughs> <laughs> when they... I, I, I'm not sure, but, the, but because of the, you know, the uniqueness of this building and the unique architecture and the National Historic designation. We have to make sure that everything that is done on the building is done to these very, right. very high standards. And that's so. really great. You know, a lot of times people will, of one organization or another, will lament certain regulations, but this sounds like these regulations are really in the best interest of keeping the building uh, up to standard yeah. and preserving it for everyone to use. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. We're, yeah. That's our goal. That is our goal. So, so people in Santa Barbara, I know that we are all so grateful for the courthouse. And I'll bet you people are really grateful, hopefully, that, that your group, that the, that the Legacy Foundation exists and you're doing all this good work. Um, and I suspect some people don't know <laughs> that, that all this work that you're doing. Oh, that's exactly it. So... So many people, because it's a county-owned building, yeah. so many people just assume that the county has the funds to pay for these things, but they really don't, and they don't have the time or the artistic know-how right. to go about hiring the right people that can do this. And so we have an incredible board right now with people that are very knowledgeable. We have architects and retired architects that know who to contact and um, are really good at overseeing all of this work that's done. Um, for instance, our last big project was the restoration of the mural room, so which is this incredible room. Yes, it is incredible. People get married in almost every day of yeah. the year. It's booked, <laughs> oh. and you know all those murals show the history of Santa Barbara. And those were completely restored, mm -hmm. and the ceiling in the mural room as well, and lighting put in so that you can actually see these mm -hmm. beautiful murals and the ceiling that's been painted. So it's um, that was a huge endeavor. And well, we have uh, a lot to be thankful for. <laughs> all of your good work, gee whiz. And so how? How do you raise the funds? How do you decide, okay, how do you decide what's going to be your next project? Is it like a board decision or? It is. So we have different committees on our board and we put a five-year plan oh. in motion. And we have a, it's called a memorandum of understanding with the county and they sign off on our five-year plan. So for instance, we're going to be, we have a new five-year plan coming up with our great arch restoration and then the windows on the Figueroa side of the building, mm -hmm. along with some of the other cement work and structural work outside that is deteriorating and falling off that needs Gosh. to be repaired. So, so when people see work going on at the courthouse, mm -hmm. they should know that you folks are behind it and be very grateful for all of your good work. Well, we do probably 99% of those big projects. The docent council is also responsible for taking on smaller restorative projects as well. Okay. So they work hand in hand with us. Um, we get a lot of our funding through various um, foundations in the city okay. that help us out. For instance, um, the Oathwaite Foundation mm -hmm. and the Pearl Chase Society, the Santa Barbara Foundation, National Historic Preservation Society, oh, all gosh. of these people, and Jackson, Michael Tobes Foundation, they all contribute to us. That's great. I'm so us. glad to hear that. And it's just, 
it makes it possible because yes, yes. You know, individuals do donate money and we are always thankful for yes. every small donation we get. But those big foundations, when they come through yeah. with the money, it really helps us to get those projects I can imagine. going. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the docent council. What, how does that work? So the docents, they're this wonderful group of volunteers that uh -huh. do all the tours in the courthouse. Okay. So they're the ones that give the tours. But on, at their little booth, they sell refrigerator magnets and calendars and all those little things and take, you know, not donations. Mm -hmm. And it adds up. I and bet it so does. They take on a project every year and also donate to the Courthouse Legacy Foundation okay. through their um, what they get from their um, little tours and things like that. So they w really work as a partner with us. That is great. Yeah. So the board identifies the projects and maybe mm -hmm. you even say, oh, here's some that would be appropriate for the docents to Well, adopt. we don't tell them what uh -huh. to do. They they. They say, we'll take that project. They take or we'll on take their, their own. One. And we have a couple of docents that are on our board as well. Okay. So we do try to have a good working relationship with them. Well, and you know, when you think about it, here the docents are leading these tours. They see everything, right? Exactly. So they might come to the board and say, hey, have you guys thought about fixing this thing over here? <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> they do. So it is. It's a two-way street. <laughs> yeah. So you're really partners with the county. There's a partnership, Most strong definitely. partnership there, mm -hmm. and, a, and a partnership with the docents. Yes. And do you do any uh, fundraising events at we, all? We or? do. So, like I mentioned, our fiesta, every year we host a fiesta fundraising. Okay. And that is, our main goal is to raise funds for whatever project we're in the works. And, um, and then we do hold other events throughout the year. It just kind of depends upon what our focus is at the time. So a few years ago when we were raising money for the mural room, yes. we hosted this fabulous party in there called If These Walls Could Talk. Oh my gosh. And it was all about if if we were hearing what these characters in this mural were saying, what would they say about oh, having man. this restoration done? And so it was a it was a lovely dinner party and um, so that was one thing. And then we also did the restoration of the Spirit of the Ocean Fountain. And there oh. was a lot of uh, fundraising events that went along with that, including going all the way up to where the sandstone came from up in the mountains up here. And that was all donated also. Gosh. So, and your board does all this. <laughs> Gee whiz. Well, we, we, in conjunction with the county yes. and the docents and... Yeah. Other volunteers. Robert Uli is a big help. He's mm -hmm. the county architect, oh. and so he helps us out a lot and kind of oversees a lot of things for well, us. Well, I can see why you became president, <laughs> and I can see that they're very lucky to have you doing that. Oh, it's a, you. <laughs> it sounds like it's a great, wonderful, inspiring group of people. You know what? I'm, I'm amazed because everyone comes from various backgrounds, mm -hmm. But we come together and we are doing something really positive for our city. And that's yes. what it's all about, you know? Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, Jan, thank you so much for being with us today. Oh, and thank you for all the good work that you're doing. And please pass on our gratitude to your whole board. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. I appreciated this. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on 805 Focus. And we'll see you next time.